two more work days and we're leaving for vacation. Super excited. I've got everything is all it's all here and ready to be put into the truck. Um, we've got my large suitcase here, which is going to go in the bed of the truck and it's not going to come out until we get to Florida because I made a road bag. Ed has a road bag. So my bag here and Ed's bag here is going to go in the front of the bed of the truck. And then we have Callie's backpack and Callie's um, rolling bag because she's spoiled and she overpacks just like mommy does. Um, then we have my backpack that's going to go in the car, the front seat with us because I have like a little hook to hang it on. Then we have the cooler for our waters and our um, sandwiches for the road trip picnics. We have the cooler over here that Ed just finished washing for all of our drinks. Um, I'm going to bring my blue slushies and we're going to bring the ginger ale. Then I have pillows. I like to bring my own pillows and a blankie. And so that's everything there. And then if you come through here. Oh, and then this is my outfit for the for day one of travel. And then Ed's got his jeans. He's just got to pick out a t-shirt. And then this is my toiletry bag that is also going um, in the road hotels. And then here we have, um, we've got Callie's gate here. We've got to bring gates because she's an escape artist. So we have to put that up. Um, so she can't get at the doors when we're in the hotel. And then we have this box here on the bottom is the box we'll be bringing into the hotel. It's got all of our paper plates, um, plastic utensils, cups, all that stuff. And then this bag here has our um, shoes and hats. And that bag there, I probably don't need to bring that, but that's got um, some extra, like, just some sweatshirts and a couple of little cardigan sweaters in there. Oh, and then in, packed in, in the bag here in this pocket is my water shoes for the pool. And that's everything. I know, we overpack. And then this is our snacks. We've got like our chips in there and we've got our Haribo peaches. But yeah, <coughs> we're all set and ready to go. Oh, and then I was just charging Callie's fans in her stroller. So she has a fan here and she has a fan here. So I just finished charging those. Um, so they'll be good to go. I can unplug that now and put that plug away. And yeah, so we are ready to go. I'm just charge, just gonna charge up my cameras. I'm gonna talk to Ed about using the other camera. And then I gotta figure out well, I don't have to figure it out. It's just gonna, my um, my laptop, I have my laptop bag right here for my laptop that's over there. I'll put that in there and my mouse and mouse pad. I'm gonna try on the road trip to transfer um, footage at the end of the evening and then try to publish videos so I can keep everything flowing and keep all of the video footage clean from the camera and the computer. Because if I bog the computer down too much, it becomes a whole thing. I need a new laptop is what I need, but for now, I would have to do it that way until I can, until I can get a decent laptop. But but yeah, so that's the plan. We're in good shape. We're literally, I could leave tomorrow. I'm ready. I could get on the road tomorrow morning. But um, we have a couple days left before we head out. So yeah, I'll um, be filming along the, the way, filming 
of the road, filming at the hotels, filming at Disney. Yeah, so, anywho. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, and it is 5.36. So, did a little bit of this trip leaving than we did the last one. In half a mile. Use the right lane to exit right. And we are jumping on 95 now. So we wanted to leave at 5. Last time we wanted to leave at 5 and we didn't leave till after 6. So this is better than this trip. Um, but we are all set and ready to go. The truck's all packed up. We are heading to our first stop, which is Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. So check back in with you in a bit. So the sun is rising behind us, of course, in the east. And it looks like a big, huge, orange ball of fire. And in fact, that's what it is. It's a big, huge, orange ball of fire. And it's very, very orange right now. So in one second, I'm gonna try to get a shot of it for you. But you can see it like illuminating, especially if it hits like a, some, a metallic surface. It's pretty, pretty big. Now it's over to my left, but I can't get a shot of it right now, but I will. I did just have a really great shot of it in my side mirror here, but Woo! Joke. Again, it's trying to make up for that half hour. <laughs> I'll probably be able to get a good shot of it up here. She's got like a funny little sneeze. And you can see the ball of sun in Ed's mirror, but back there is the big ball of fire in the sky. We should have washed those back windows. My goodness, they're dirty. But anyhow, we continue on. And we will be, according to this, arrival at Chambersburg is 1230, um, but that, it, it's going to be later than that because we're going to have to stop, go potty of course, and we're going to stop and get lunch, not get lunch because I packed lunch, <laughs> we're going to stop and have 
it awaits. So, yeah. What are your thoughts on that, honey? Does adventure await? We get the thumbs up. Thumbs up. This Callie is all about adventure. Just look at her face. trip check-in. We are in Connecticut <clears throat> and baby girl is settled, finally taking a nap for, for a good while. She was up and curious and of course she's probably like, where are we going now? We're on another adventure. But yes, so we made that one stop excuse me, at the park. And now we're just trucking along. Oh yeah, and I brought Mr. Pear. I did bring the toaster. The toaster is in the, um, the storage box in the, in the back. But when I was leaving this morning, little Mr. Pear was sitting on the bathroom counter and he really just looked like he wanted to come on a road trip. So he came too. So I brought two night lights. But that's okay. Because I can. Right, Mr. Pear? Right, Penny. Anywho, he's fully charged, ready to be um, lit up. Tonight, we'll use him tonight. And then maybe tomorrow night we'll use the toaster.
Okay, yeah. so we're in Connecticut. And as usual, Connecticut sucks. <sighs> Traffic in Connecticut is horrendous. Never fails all the time. Except for last October when we were heading on a, out on a Saturday. It was pretty pretty easy breezy, but weekdays, nope. Especially since we're like within the morning commute, so it's awful. And we got to get through to the Rhode Island, I mean, the New York border. Because the New York border will be our exit, first exit. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, so it's like literally bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper traffic. Yeah. Yep. And Ed hates traffic. Me, I'm like, eh, whatever. You know, you get through it. Highway speed, 15 miles per hour. Woohoo! Yahoo! <coughs> Estimated time in traffic, according to Ima, is 10 minutes. So we started off our arrival time in Chambersburg, PA, was 12:24, I believe. Yep. We stopped to let Callie go pee at the park. Then we stopped again so that we could all go pee. And now we're in traffic. And our arrival time now is still not bad. It's 12.53. That's not bad. Oh, excuse me. But anyway, on we go. Hi, baby girl. Baby girl has been very alert this first part of the trip. When we went in October, she, the first part of the trip, she slept a lot. I think that she might have slept a lot because the first part of the trip was, it was still pretty dark um, for not, I mean, it was kind of dark when we left because it was October. Um, but it was also kind of rainy. Oh, that truck needs a bath. It was, it was kind of rainy and drizzly, so I think that sort of made her want to sleep a little more. But this trip, she's very curious about everything. Every time we stop, every time we slow down, every time we move, she's all super curious. But that's okay, she can be curious. Curiosity is not a terrible thing. Excuse me, I got a case of the yawns. And Ed is doing exactly what he's not supposed to do while he's driving. He's playing with the screen. Baby, what you looking at? Would you please lay down? Thank you. She's a good girl. She whines a little bit here and there, but that's okay. Mm. She whines sometimes out of excitement because she's wondering what's going on. Right, baby girl? Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Everything's fine. Mommy and Daddy are here. We'll never let anything happen to you. You're good. Mommy's like, you know super cautious when it comes to Callie about everything. Oh, gosh. Really look at yawns. Let's see. What time did I go to bed last night? By the time I finally fell asleep, I think it was close to 9.30. And I got up at 4. The alarm went off at 4. And I got up right away. I didn't... Which is a good thing, because if I had to stay in bed, we would have been leaving even later. <coughs> what is 
What's that over there? Is that like a railroad bridge? I don't know, I can't look at it and drive. It must be. It goes over the water. Construction is part of the problem. All of this construction creates havoc. Westport and Saugatuck. Yeah. Traffic, non-stop. Seems like more than ten minutes to me. check back in with you in a bit. Hopefully we won't be in this traffic much longer. Okay, so we're still in traffic. We're still in Connecticut. It is now one o'clock arrival. Callie is in the back eating her cacti. Cactus. Cacti is more than one. She's eating her cactus. Chewing on it, she's not eating it, she's chewing it. And we are just sitting, well, we're moving, moving very slowly, but we're nine miles away from our exit to get off of 95. We'll see how the traffic is when we get off 95. I'm sure it's still gonna be shit because what it is. It's a weekday. Traffic sucks on the weekday because there's too many people out there. I opened up the sunroof, let a little air in. That's why you can hear the noise, the highway noise. But anyway, nine miles. There's a squeaker in the cactus. I did not know that. I didn't know there was a squeaker in the cactus, but Miss Callie found it. So anyhow, this is the traffic we've got. Just, it's been going on for miles and miles and miles. Because Connecticut We got through the Connecticut traffic. We are now on 287, 87 287. <clears throat> and we are about to cross over the Mario Cuomo Bridge, formerly known as the Tappan Zee Bridge. It's quite a bridge. It's quite lovely. That's kind of cool. Parkway exit 
and after that we will stay in the left lanes through the toll because there is no toll for cars. So, yeah, onward we go. All right, so we went from bumper to bumper traffic at 95, which was not very fun, to this. 287. We're on 287 South, heading towards Morristown, New Jersey, and we're going to get off on at exit 21, which is I-78 West, but this is so much nicer, less stress. This is why this is better than taking 95 through New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, all that. We cut out all of that. I would rather go through sleepy little Pennsylvania any day. So yeah, much, much better. But yeah, so we're on 95 now until we get to, not 95. Carolina and into South Carolina where we will be spending 
take a 95. 95 is just... I'm glad we don't go that way anymore. Because... It's not... Yeah, that obviously is riding someone's butt because they keep flashing on the brakes. See, instead of not riding someone's butt, people should try leaving a little space between you and the car in front of you. You know? Just saying. Just saying. outside the car she becomes provoked and she barks so anyway so yeah lunch was nice did you enjoy your peanut butter and jelly sandwich oh, very peanut butter. That, that I made for you with love or was it made with poison it was made with love all right sit down Sit down. Daddy needs sit down. Daddy needs to see. Sit down. First you've got to go in reverse. No, I, I need the mirror. Oh, what happened to the mirrors? Because I reset my say, seat and when I reset my seat the mirror moved a little. Oh. Okay. <sighs> anyway, 
we're off another two and a half hours and we'll be there. Oh, so much fun. See, this is the little rest area we stayed at. This one we've been to before and I liked it. It's got a lot of nice, really shady picnic areas. We were out in the back, out there. The tables are nice. I mean, the little restrooms are very small, but it's more of a little spot for a picnic. So, yeah, that was good. Yeah, we actually have barbecue grills too, so I don't know who would ever do it, but if you wanted to spark up a fire, cook hamburgers, and cheese. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, if you were stopping here in an RV, you certainly could. Yeah, if you pull in and there's nowhere to stop, you gotta carry oh, on. Yeah, carry Can't, on. You wouldn't be able to keep going. Okay, 26 miles, and we'll be turning onto that 77. And once we turn onto that 77, that's where we're gonna have that scenic, like, overlook. So uh, when we get there, I'll pop the camera back on and show you. Because it's a, the view is much different heading south because it's like like literally like right in front of you like so I'll show you when we get there. So yes, we just crossed into North Carolina. It is a lovely day. 79 degrees out. And yeah, baby's snoozing away, enjoying her snooze time. back that has clips to the back of her harness so she can move around in the car 
but she still say, stays clipped in in this safe. But she's all snuggled. Look at her. What a beautiful, what a beautiful baby. A snuggle baby.